Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Well, yeah, my name is Major Slack. Thanks for joining me again. Let's walk through some more Wolfenstein 2, the new classes. We just finished getting the Constrictor Harness Contraption. Let's get the upgrade for it. Iron Lung. Be able to stay constricted in narrow spaces for a longer duration of time before starting to take damage. Turn, our turn ourselves into a mean, lean stealth machine. This takes place um, the exact same place we did the upgrade for the Battle Walker. Okay, so you're looking for the east end of Eva's hammer. Okay, looking for the cantina. There's a cantina. Hang a left here and go down and talk to this guy here. Good captain, sir. Section 66G was sealed off because of a, a gas leak back when you first took over the U-boat. Now there is something rotting in there and we have to get rid of it. We have a serious fly infestation on our hands. You have that extraordinary constrictor harness and so I speculated you could venture into Section 66G through the ventilation system and turn off the gas so that I may send a cleanup crew in there. Here, allow me to open this hatch for you. Oh, smells of death. Ah, dude. Seriously? Okay, here we go. Remember the gas leak. You mustn't fire any weapons. It will cause an explosion that will kill you and sink the boat. Godspeed, sir. Yeah, thanks a lot. Okay, so those are our rule of rules of engagement. No weapons. The only thing you're gonna get is one hatchet, which the game's gonna give you momentarily. That is one foul smell. Here's our hatchet, and you have to deal with dogs. There's a dog right there. The so. When you hatchet throw kill a dog, make sure you retrieve the hatchet every time. And you do not want to engage in close combat with these dogs, like combat kills, because it will they will take health off. Definitely. You could probably endure two combat kills and then you're gonna die. So basically you endure one, you can't you cannot endure another. So stealth your face off. <laughs> and make those throws count. Okay, there's a dog here. Let's just wait for him. Here, Booch. There he is right there. Come here, you mangy mutt. Yeah, this is no cakewalk. Retrieve your hatchet. If the game will let you. I definitely save the game before starting this because sometimes you know how the game goes. It just simply does not let you retrieve your hatchet. Just keep it clips to the floor or whatever. Okay, here we go, dog in here. Got him. Should be a dog right there, just behind this pipe here. There he is. Maybe just above his head. Got him. Pooch. 
Come on, boy. You know you want to. Come on. Okay, let's wait for him to go that way, and then we'll, we'll go up this and have to kill him. Go back that way. Is it going to come around here? Can it come around here? Got him. No! Hey. Ah. Okay, it's right there. And there's one more doggy there. Gotcha. Okay, I always wonder where that third doggy was. Okay, we made it. Great. And we got full health. That's good. Basically, you want to en exit this with, like, 100 health. Because I don't know anywhere on the ship where you can get health, except uh, the shooting range. There's 40 health there. I forgot. Other than that. Gracious, you made it out, Captain. <laughs> I heard some awful noises and wagered there was trouble. I will make sure the cleanup crew knows the gas has been turned off. <laughs> yeah, clean up in aisle five for sure, buddy. Okay, so that's it. We completed it. We got the upgrade for the constrictor harness, iron lung. We can stay constricted for longer before we start losing health. Let's go ammo up at the shooting range before we take on New Orleans. We can get some health there too. And we can get some armor too, if you recall correctly. Go through Set's lab. Shooting range is down there. Go into the ammo depot. Climb up the ladder here. Swing it on around here. And get yourself 100 armor. There we go. So we got our armor back. Hello to you. And the game says I'm maxed out on hatchets. It's glitched out. This happens sometimes. Yeah. That should not be. <laughs> okay. Pistol ammo refill seems to be busted. Okay, so that's the best we can do. Let's get into New Orleans. Maybe these glitches will fix themselves. Lots of ammo. 143 health. We can get up to 200 pretty quickly in New Orleans. about this resistance leader named Horton. Horton? Horton. Ton. Yeah? Window sill. Umbrella. Horton. Horton and his crew are holed up in the New Orleans ghetto. Now, this man has important connections to the remaining fragments of resistance all over the U.S. So, Blasco, it's, 
I need you to go in there and recruit this man to our cause, you dig? Now, it ain't gonna be easy. Nazis built this great fucking wall around New Orleans. Heavily armed guard towers, and the coastline is riddled with mines. Impossible for the U-boat to navigate. But you know what? Fuck them. Because we got something else. Take the next one. Tell me what to shoot, Grace. You and Wyatt will break into the East Perimeter Security Tower located there in Lake Bourne. Deactivate the mines obstructing the channel to Lake Pontchartrain. Then we sail this boat into the city and bring all surviving souls on board. All right, Wyatt. Stay pumped. Oh, and yeah. You go, girl. Six is eight. What are you doing here? It's dangerous here. You have to be so quiet. Welcome. New Orleans is counting on us, my brothers and sisters. Can you say something, Grace? I just want to get that over with before I save the game and exit. And there is an alligator. Yeah. Or a crocodile, I forget which is uh, indigenous to New Orleans. And that is it. That's all coming up next video. Back to regular combat next video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, because of the risque nature of Wolfenstein 2 and YouTube's new advertiser-friendly policies, it's going to be difficult to fully monetize a lot of these videos. I'm already working for less than minimum wage with all the time and effort I put into creating real walkthroughs, so doing Wolfenstein 2 basically means working for peanuts. If you enjoyed these videos, I'd appreciate it if you went on over to my Patreon page and made a small donation. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it.